contract. Out and in. Doing good. Up, up, down, down, and push and pull. You got it? Yeah, it feels yeah. good. Okay, we have a great workout plan for you. But first, we want to start to warm you up. Are you ready? From the very beginning, four taps out. Four, three, two. We got two more. This Rotate. helps give you that little sexy dimple back right there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want that. Okay, give me two more. One more right and left. Here we go. Walk it. Welcome to Abs and Chest of Steel 2000. I'm Lisa Hart, and I'd like to introduce you to the rest of the Platinum Series team. This is Tracy York and Nancy Pop. We've put together an awesome program specifically designed to challenge the muscles in the abdominal and chest areas. We'll be teaching our own segments, showing you the most up-to-date exercises to give you that flat, lean abdomen and toned chest you're looking for. Now, during the upper body toning section, Lisa and I are going to be using three-pound weights. So if you have weights, you're going to decide whether you want to use them or not. And during our toning portion, we will be on the floor. So have exercise mats or a towel at hand, or you could just use the carpet. That's right. Be sure to have plenty of water on hand to drink and wear proper aerobic shoes. Now, pace yourself during this workout. Build up gradually to doing all the exercises. Now, Tracy's going to get us started with a warm-up that will definitely get you fired up. Take it away, Tracy. Let's go, Tracy. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's get you warmed up and ready for your workout. Just continue marching, and I'm going to teach you a nice, easy arm pattern to loosen up your upper body. March four more. Three, two. Now, arms reach around. One, press. Lift, lower down, nice and easy. This should be very rhythmic, no resistance. Four more. Good, we just want to raise that body core temperature. How about two more? Take it around. Good, last time. Now I want you to step out with your right foot, shift your weight, right, left. Now bring your feet together, left and right. Keep your chest lifted, arms go up. Two, three, good. One more. Now let's go back to the top. March it right. How you doing, Nancy? I'm doing great. This is a great warm up. Good. Now reaching out, it's right, left, and together. I got to get you ready for Lisa. That's right. Now march it out. We're going to break it down. Now shift your weight right to left. Prepare to march on your left foot from the top. Yes. Now shift your weight. Good. Let's try that one more time. Right foot march. Good. Can you feel that upper body loosening up? Oh, yeah. Good. Last time. Left foot. Good. Shift your weight. Keep that chest up. Now march. One, two, three. Tap on four. One, two, three. Tap. We're going to teach you how to grapevine. And what you're going to do is step behind, step, and tap. Step behind, step, tap. Two more times. Good old grapevine. Arms go here, circle. Now both arms, small roll. Now just shrug those shoulders. One more. Yes. What do you think? Can we put this all together? I think so. We can we take can. it from front of the tarp. Right foot march. Good. Now shift your weight from right to left. Now prepare to grapevine to the left. That's right. Good. Both arms circle. Now shrug the shoulders. March left foot from the top. We're almost there. Shift it right, left, or left, right. Grapevine to the right. All these rights, all these lefts. Sometimes it's hard to keep track. We can do it. Yeah, but we'll get there. <laughs> now stay right here. Calf raise. Lift up and down. Now set your feet about hip width apart. Pick the right knee up and now press the heel back. Bring the knee up again. Good. Two more. Now hold the heel back and just bring your arms forward. Remember, nice and easy. No resistance yet. Not yet. <laughs> now bend the elbow, bend the knee, lower directly down. Good. Make sure your knee is right above the top of your foot. Good. Two more times. Last time. Now set it back into your hamstring stretch. Flex that left foot, pushing your hips back, keeping your chest up. You should feel that right in the back of your thigh and your hamstring. Feet together, take it up. Now inhale, contract and round, up. 
One more time. Round up, hold it here. Just lift and lower. Two more. Now let's pick that left knee up. We gotta go to the other side. Lisa, how you feeling? Feeling good. I'm getting really warmed up, ready to go. Stay here now. Push the arms forward. Lisa's got an awesome aerobic section. It's gonna happen in just a second. Now bend the elbow, bend the knee lower, directly down and up. Good, no resistance, just nice and easy. Good, four more please. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go into our hamstring stretch. Flex that foot. Remember, you're pushing your hips back. You're gonna feel a stretch on the back of the thigh. That's your hamstring. And are you breathing? I want you to keep breathing. Bring your feet together, slowly back stretch, down, contract, round, and again, down. Two more times. Down. Oh, I can feel it. We're almost there. This feels good. Down. All the yeah. way up. up. March it out. Woo. Right left. Now pick those knees up. Let's start to take that heart rate up because Lisa's going to really kick it. Keep going. Four more. Three. Two. Lisa, are you ready? I'm ready. Well, come on. Let's do, do it. Warm up, Tracy. Thanks a lot. Keep up the march. And what I'd like you to do first is march three times and tap once. In four, three, two, march and tap. March two, three, and tap. March two, three, and tap. Now what we'll be doing next is moving this march two, three, and tap forward and then backing it up. Let's do a few more. Right here, it's four, three, two. Get ready to come towards me. Last one, let's move it. March two, three, and tap back. You've got it. Let's do this twice more and then add arms. Up. Now your arms will be coming straight up, crossing. Take it up. Let's go. Cross three times and pull. Cross two, three, and pull. Up. Pull it down. You've got it. Now let's do this twice more. Then we're going to add on. Here's one. Take it back once more. Looks good. Now go up one time and step out to the left once. Take it back and step out to the right. Up again, let's try it. Up. Now after this, we're gonna add arms as you step out to the side. Take that left arm, now right. Good, right arm first and left. You've got it. Now as you do this, where should we feel this working, girls? Oh, that's the chest. chest. <laughs> Why not, huh? <laughs> All right. We'll do it one more time after this. Take it up. Whew. This is your last one. Now I want you to go back into that March 2, 3, and tap right here. March 2, 3, and tap. Next thing we're going to do is still with this March 2, 3, and tap, we're going to take it to a right angle and then to a left. Still leading with the right foot each time. In. Here's four. Three, get ready to move. Two, one, let's go. March, two, three, and tap. It's not a very big step. Still march and tap. Let's do it one more time each way. Then we'll add arms. Last time this side. Right arm comes up, left arm meets it. Let's go. Cross, cross, pull, pull, and push and cross. Cross, cross, pull, pull, push and cross. Last time, then guess what? From the from beginning, the huh? You've got it. Up. Get ready to walk up. There Let's go. go. Cross oh, it. Yeah. Push it. We'll be going up again. Let's go. Up. Cross. Yeah. Everything's in twos, right? You've got it. She's catching on. <laughs> At an angle. Huh. Push it out. We do this again. Push. Side. And we'll go back from the beginning once more after this. Now get ready to walk up. Cross your arms. Let's really do it this time now that we've got the feel of it. Take it back. Go up again. Cross, cross, cross and pull. Push it across. Get ready to walk at the angle. Let's go. go. All right. There are so many benefits to exercising on a regular basis. That's right. That's right. We're burning calories. We're burning fat. Okay, take it back. Now I want you to walk up two, three. Instead of the outside, we're going to go knees. 
You've got it. Up. Again. All right. We'll add arms next. Take it back. Now, arms are just freestyle. Lift it up and keep your torso lifted. Woo. Now, when we do these knee lifts, you should also begin to feel your abdominal muscles working, as well as pressing through the chest. Take it up. Yeah, I feel it right here. Yeah. <laughs> working the obliques, the side ah, muscles, the muscles that make the up side. the waist, right? Exactly. All right, this is your last one. Take it back. Then we're going to add on. After the knees, we're going to step out and in with your left foot. Get ready. Step out and in. Two times and take it back. Let's go. Back, lift your knee. Up. Side, Woo. out and in. Two times. We'll take it up and add arms with that out and in. Up, lift it. Stay lifted tall. Now, out, press. Take it back and lift. Woo. Out and Woo. in. Boy, the Doing good. Coming up, please. Okay. Here we go. One more time. Ha. Then what do we do? Uh -oh, I think we're taking Let's it take from the beginning. The we're going to do it go. in twos. Last time back. Up. Woo. Out and in. Cross your arms up. Let's go. Up, up, and so pull. We're still Side. In twos? Exactly. So we're going to go up again after this. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Come on up. Up. Woo. Cross it around. Good. Get ready to go at the angle. Give me those arms. Now you know the step. Do it well. Feel the chest still pressing there. Remember, we go again. Out, out, and work it right through here. What do we do next? Those knees. knees. <laughs> You've got it. I like to test them. Hup. Get ready to go out and in. Out yeah. and in. Here we go. Remember, then we'll do this one more time. Woo. Last time up. Then the next will be going from the beginning. We'll do it in once. Pick up the pace. Take it back. Get ready to go from the beginning. Out and in. Arms cross. Take it up. Let's go. Ooh, here we go. Yeah. Push. Oh, Almost God. ready to go at an angle. Okay. You're doing great. Make it good. Up, up. Cross, cross. Up with knees. Let's go. Free arms. Contract. Out and Woo. in. Doing good. Take it back. Lift. Ho. Yeah. Last time. March your right foot. Ho. Woo. You did a great job. Now, with exercising on a regular basis, you are going to excel in every area of your life. Let's march to three and tap. March to three and tap. Keep it up. Nancy is next. She is going to pick up the pace just a little bit. Are we ready for Nancy? I think so. Okay, take it, Let's Nancy. Let's go. Just march it out right, left, and hold that march. Woo. Yeah. Come on, Nancy. We're getting ready. All right. Okay, let's pick up the pace. We're ready to move on. I'm going to start you off with a step touch, right and left, counting down. Keep those knees going. Don't drop that intensity. Ready? Step touch, right, left. Here we go. Up. Great. Now I'm going to have you go double to the right and double to the left, counting down right here. You're going to give me four more, and you're going to give me three more. That's it. Two. One more. Now let's go double to the right. Here we go. Double. There you go. You're going to give me one more to the right and to the left. Now you're going to take it down and up, down and up. You see that change? Now we're going to add on with some arms, working the triceps, down and away, down and away. The triceps are the muscles behind the back of our arms that we nickname grandma arms. <laughs> yeah, but not for long. Not for long. Right. Stick with us. Ho, oh, one more set. Now let's go to grapevine, right, left. Tracy showed you this in the warm-up. Now, we're designing exercises to give you chest and abs of steel like you want. So it'll help you if you add your own resistance during exercises throughout the aerobic program. The hands go on your hips and clap and push and cross. That's Ooh. it. Now push against the wall and, and squeeze a ball. There you go. It'll also increase the intensity, give you more of a challenge. Let's go back from the top. Here we go. Down and up. Great. Down and up. Give me one more right and left. Woo. Woo. Really resist. Great line. Ha. One more to the right. Yeah. From the top, down and up. Down and up. Great. Let's do that again to the right. Down and up. Now, grapevine, hands on hips. Stand tall. 
Keep those abs in tight. One more. Now we're going to break it down. One to the right and the left from the top. Down and up. Great. Now, grapevine. And push and cross from the top. Down and up. Yeah. Grapevine. Woo! Now, Tracy and I are going to give you an option. We're going to turn the first grapevine while Lisa stays basic. Tracy, are you ready? ready? Oh, I'm ready. Turn the grapevine, ho. Great. Let's do that again. Now, it's just for variety and it's for fun. If you're not ready for this move yet, stick with Lisa for now. And as you get better, show it to us. Here we go. <laughs> I'm still Give me a two more. Workout. You sure are. Even though I'm staying basic with the grapevine. That's right. Turn. The intensity doesn't drop. One more time. Great. Then we're going to add on. Turn. Okay, step with your right. Give me four knees left. No arms. Yeah. Now, step touch for four. There you go. Let's try the other side. Stand tall. Step touch. Now we're going to add the arms. You're going to pull down on the knees. That's right. Now, step touch. And you're going to cross downward, squeezing the lower portion of your chest. Other side. So we're working abs and chest in these. That's right. When you lift your knees up, you can feel it in your lower abdominal area. Okay? Step touch. Great. Let's try that again to once to the other side. Then we're just going to change it just a little bit. We're going to use the step touch and move it forward and back. Step knee first. Four, three, two. Step touch up toward me. Woo! Yeah. Stay here. Let's do it again. Now we're going to move back on the step touches. You want to try that again? Yeah. Let's try that one it. more time. Now, if you feel a little tired or out of breath at this moment, you can put your hands on your hips and take a break, like I would love to do right now. I want to keep <laughs> those feet moving. Here we go. Down and up. Great. Turn that grapevine. Woo. Woo. Push and cross. One more time. Down and up. Hey. Yeah. Turn it. Hands on hips. Looks pretty. Step knee. Here we go. Ha. Yeah. Step touch up toward me. Use your chest. Hey. Step knee right here. You guys are doing great. Take it back. Let's take it from the very top. Okay. To the right. Down and up first. Great. Yeah. Now turn it. Up. Yeah. Now step knee. Step knee right here. Pull down. Woo. Stand tall. Use those abs. Come up toward me. Now we're going to go to the top, toward the left. Down and up. Ooh, Great. Yeah. Down and up. Now turn. Step knee right here. Hup. Abs in tight. Stand tall. Take it back. Well, this is fun, Nancy. From the top, toward the right. Down and up. Yeah. Now, turn it. Give it to me. Yeah. Push and cross. Resist. Woo. Putting it all together. That's right. Step touch Woo. up. Now let's take it from the top toward the left. Down and up. Great. Down and up. Now turn. Push and cross. Step and knee. Yeah. You guys are doing great and you're almost there. We got one more set each side. Let's go. Here we go. Down and up. Woo. Turn it. You know, I'm feeling a little bit. Step knee. I'm a little tired. Just losing a room. But I feel That's good, okay. though. <laughs> you know, all the benefits is going to be my credit and yours when you get the benefits that you want the only person that can give you all the credit is yourself so buy those straight legged jeans that you wanted <laughs> or the short, short shorts march it out right here hey great now we're just going to step forward and step back counting down five six step forward and back forward and back that's right give me two more than a little cha-cha step which is a triple step to the left triple step yes Great. This is fun. That's two more. Now, back to the right. Now, the arms, I'll show you on the next set. You're just going to cross under and scoop. One more. Triple step. Here we go. Just scoop under. Scoop under. Give me two more. That's right. Cha-cha to the right. Let's break it down for two. Now, cha-cha to the left. Ho. Two. Let's do one more. Doubles to the right. Yes. Woo. Cha-cha. Good. Let's break it down to singles. We're going to go four, left, three, right, one more. Hold the march and keep it going. Keep that intensity up. How are you feeling? Oh, I feel great. 
Now, how are you feeling? Now it's time for an intensity check. Are you working out at the right fitness level for you? You should be able to feel like you can hold a conversation while you're exercising. And if you can, you're right on the money. Stick with us. And if you feel like you're working too hard, decrease the intensity by putting your hands on your hips and concentrating on your legs. On that note, Tracy's going to take over. Come okay. on, Tracy. Let's keep moving. Let's march. All right, hang in there. You're doing a great job. We've only got a little bit more to go. Now, what I want you to get ready to do is we're going to tap out with our right foot four times, then march wide and narrow. Are you ready? Here we go. Tap for four, three, two. Now, march it wide and narrow. Let's try the other side. Tap four, three, two, and march wide, narrow. Let's add some arms. Push the arms up. Now I want you to press down as you march wide and narrow. And the other side, press up. Good, march wide, narrow. Let's go to the right again. Good, press wide, narrow. And last time. Perfect, march wide, narrow. Now when we go on that fourth lunge, I want you to grapevine. One, two, three, Grapevine, march wide and narrow. So it's almost the same. Press four, three, two, grapevine, wide and narrow. How you girls doing? Great. Got this it. is great. Grapevine, wide and narrow. Remember, what we're doing is we're always keeping one foot on the floor so they're keeping this low impact but high intensity. Push up. Now we're going to add some arms on the grapevine right here. Chest press. Yes, I want you to use that chest. Ooh. Two, three, chest. Good. Let's get two more of these. Grapevine right here. Push out and in. Last time, press up. Chest press, press down. Now march one, two, three, and tap. It's right, left, right. Good. Here we go, moving on. Yeah, we sure are. Yeah. Four more. Three. Two. We're going to add a little direction. Move towards us. Now move away. Yeah. Pop that up. Now I want you to add that knee on that fourth count. Just a little lift. Good. Now you'll notice, again, we're lifting just to the ball of the foot. We're not clearing the floor. Good. Let's get four more. And then we're going to add a couple more knees. Two more. Now, we're going to take it up. I want you to add two more knees. Right here. One, two. Good. One, two. One more. Are you ready for some arms? Let's do it. We're Let's not going to give them a break. Here we go. Here we go. Now, push the arm up to the ceiling. Chest press. Now, cross. Just clap your hands. Good. Are you ready to go back to the very beginning? I'm yes. Ready. Okay, from the very top, here we go. Press out for four. Here we go. Great fine. Woo. Push down and up. Other side. Press up. Great fine to the left. Woo. Now I want you to move towards us. Right foot first. Up. Good. Chest press. Yeah. And just clap those hands. Good. One more time. Up. And now clap the hands, and let's do it again. Ready? Here we go. Ready. Press up. Two, three, chest press. Oh, that intensity's still up. Woo. That's great. Ha. Great. Ooh. Now move towards me. Want you to keep those abdominals lifted. You know, you don't have to get on the floor to get good abdominal work. You use your abdominals when you do a lot of different things, and especially the exercises we're doing right now. From the top. Woo! Woo! Here we yes! Go. Great combination. Ha <laughs> ha! Here we go. Love it. Come on! Uh. Woo! Uh. Now move towards me. Let's go. I want to see it lift up, uh. chest squeezes, uh. clap those hands. One more time and prepare to add on. Yes, last time. Want you to march it right left. Here we go. Hup. Good. Couple more marches. Four, 
three. Now take it into a V step, and that is just forward, back to center. Good, two more. Now lunge out right left. It's lunge. Uh-oh. Here, Here comes the intensity. Side side. Press the arm across. Ooh. Eight more. Okay, prepare to combine these two together. V step for four. Three. Ooh. Two more. Now lunge it out side to side. Let's Eight. Go. Can you feel that, Lisa? You bet. Okay, two V sets. And lunge for four. This part is like a stress releaser Woo! right here. This one you don't have to think so much. That's right. You just cruise. You just, you just push go it. for it. Two more times. And then we'll take it from the very top. Yeah. And lunge. Woo. One more. Woo. And lunge it. Are you ready? From the very beginning, four taps out. Four, three, two. Good. Keep those feet on the floor. Yep. Other side. Top press four. Chest press. Uh oh. Let's see. Up oh. towards me. Yeah. I didn't forget. <laughs> now you just clap your hands right here. One more. Move it up. Woo! Yeah. And clap your hands. Now we're going to do the V step right here two times. Two. Lunge it out. Press. Good, V step. You can let the arms go. I know sometimes I snap them, I get into it. V step again. Yeah, you can always go into your own style. Woo! I mean, you don't have to stick to the same form, right? Not at all. Always go off to your own. You v go. step. Lunge it. Are you ready? We're From ready. the top. Here we go. Hup. Hup. Great bind right here. March uh -oh. it wide. Woo! I don't know if we're going to be able to get through all of this. We can do it. Hang in there. Let's go. I think I can fit this in. Move up towards me. Go. Woo! And clap. Oh, who knows? Maybe we'll be able to do it. Do it. Oh, we up. can do it. No problem. Okay, come go. on. Hang in there. You're almost done. V step right here. And lunge it out. Woo! And then I want you to bring it back to a march. Hang here. Yeah. Come on. We want to start to bring the intensity down and get you ready for your toning section. We want to have the heart rate start to lower. So let's get four more. Now, three steps, tap on four. So it's one, two, three, tap. I think they know this by now? Okay, let's get a couple more. Four, three, two more. Now let's move to the right with this. Now stay here, step left, right. Other side. Good, stay right, left. You did a great job. If you got through that entire aerobic section, thumbs up. But don't worry, you can build up to it if you need to. Two more times. Good, we always want to encourage that you pace yourself. Let's take the arms overhead, all the way up, and just snap from left to right. How you doing, Nancy? Great. Pulling it down, heart rate's coming down. Okay, last time, right over to the left side. Stay right here. Bring your feet apart and just snap, snap. Good. Let's get four more. We're gonna work it down. Get a little bit of those back stretches in. Pick up the beat. Goes right and left. Keep the chest lifted in your knee or move knees are right over the top of your foot. Four more. Then we'll stop in the center and do a back stretch. Two more. Now right in the center. Inhale. Now push the navel up to the spine, contract. And again, inhale, contract. Two more, inhale, rounding. Last time, inhale, now push all the way up. Inhale with your arms over your head, and exhale down. Now, now is a good time that if you have a mat, you might wanna go get it. Again, Lisa and I are gonna be using weights in the toning section, so if you have your weights, get them ready. Start out sitting up tall, and if you'll notice, Tracy and I have our hand weights here, which we'll be using later on in the chest exercises, and Nancy is going to do the same exercises without the hand weights, creating her own resistance. Now, before we move on, I'd like to go over a few points with you that will enable you to execute all of the chest work more effectively. Now, sit up real tall, contract the abdomen inward, and keep the chin and chest lifted. 
Now let's take both arms up to shoulder level. Your palms will be facing forward and your elbows are going to stay slightly bent creating an arc and we'll keep that arc. Now from here, pull your shoulder blades back towards each other as if you were squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. Now we're going to take the arms forward and as we do so, we'll keep that arc and you'll feel a contraction through the chest. Now take it back and again squeeze that pencil between your scapulas, those are your shoulder blades. When you do this, you should feel a stretch through the pectoral area. Now let's do this a few more times. I want you to get the feel for this motion. Remember it and execute it when we take it down to the floor and do the chest work. How's that feel, Nancy? Feels great. Okay. I feel the contraction. We are going to remember how this feels and use it again later. This movement is called the fly. Let's do one more. Exhale as you take it forward and inhale as you take it back. Let's lay on down on the floor. Now, if you're going to be using your weights, grab hold of them now and take yourself carefully down to the floor. We'll take our feet about hips distance apart. Contract the abdomen inward as if you were pulling your navel down in towards your spine. Gently take the elbows back, keeping them slightly bent, still forming that arc. Palms face the ceiling. Now pull the shoulder blades in towards each other. And we're going to go for eight flies like we discussed when we're sitting up. Ready, Nancy and Tracy? We're yes. ready. In four, three, two, take it up. Contract, release. Exhale and inhale. Feel the contraction as you take it up. Stretch on the way back. Last four. Three. Give me two more. Then we're going to go for eight, crossing at the wrist. Let's go. We'll switch it each time. Cross the other way. Working the chest a little bit differently now. Exhale and inhale. Last four. Count down three. Give me two more. Then we're going to do one fly and one cross. Here's your fly. Fly and cross at the wrist. Fly and cross it. Press it up almost there. You've got it. Last one and go for two sets of eight flies. How you doing, Nancy? I'm doing great. I'm creating my own resistance by pretending I'm lifting about 50, oh, 100 pounds. <laughs> oh, gosh. And I'm also contracting before I lift. All right, we've got one more set. Let's go. Now, you see, you don't have to necessarily use the weights. Nancy is getting a great workout without them. Exhale and inhale. Last four. Three. Stick with me. You're almost there. Two. Come on, you can do it. Last one. Take it oh, slowly yeah. down. How'd you do, Tracy? I did great. That felt good. Good. Set those weights down carefully, and we are ready to move on to some abdominal work. Gently take the thumbs back and place them behind the ears. Your elbows are going to stay out in your peripheral vision. Now, I want you to pretend as if you had a softball between the chin and chest. As we lift up, we're going to hang on to it and keep doing so as we take it back. We're trying to avoid any hyperextension through the neck. Now, as we lift up, we're going to exhale and contract the abdomen inward. As we take it down, we're going to inhale, let the spine lengthen. This is your rectus abdominis muscle. It's a muscle that runs along the entire front of your torso. We're going to go for eight crunches right here. Let's go. Eight. Exhale as you lift. Last three, two. Now we'll go up for two, down for two. Let's go. Up for two and down for two. Up for two and down. Let's do this two more times. Up for two and down for two. Here's your last one. And now I want you to take it back up and pulse eight times. It's eight, seven, contract each time. Woo. And four, this is challenging. three, <laughs> two, eight crunches, let's go. Up, Ooh, here we go. and down, exhale, and inhale. Keep it up, feeling those muscles work. Last four, three, get ready to go up for two, down for two. Here's your last one, up for two, down for two, up. Four, two. How you doing, Nancy? Oh, I'm feeling it, Lisa. This is great. Let's do this twice more. Exhale up. Inhale down. Just one more of these. Then we'll pulse eight times. And then we're going to move on to another exercise. It's eight, seven, six. Contracted. Four, Ooh. three, two. 
and one. Let's take a breather. I'll explain the next exercise. It's called a circular crunch. What we'll do is lift up towards the side. Now we're working on our obliques, the muscles that run along the side of your rib cage. Then we'll take it, swirl towards the center, towards the back, and then let it stretch and come down. Your next one starts to the back, circle to the center, and back to the front, and then let it stretch down. Let's go for eight right here. Take it up, sweep, and back. Here's two, center, front, and stretch it. Exhale, sweep, keep it in a flowing motion. So we're not necessarily stopping, we're flowing. Last four. Take it back. Here's three. Stick with me. Two more. Ooh. Here's your last one. Woo. Complete it all the way around. And eight crunches. Let's go. For eight. We're almost really done. <laughs> we are almost there. We're just gonna go through this one more set. Then we're done. Last four. Three. Two. What's next? Two up, two down. You got it. <laughs> up for two. Down for two. Squeeze it tight. Let it stretch. Do this twice more. Up for two. Down for two. Last one. Contract it. Down and pulse it. Last eight. Seven. Six. We're almost ready to move on to Tracy's program. Ooh. Give me two more pulses and release it. Take it down. Woo. Let's take both arms up over the head. Oh, yeah. Press in towards your ribs and release it. We are ready to move on to Tracy's segment, and she has got some dynamic chest work as well as abdominal work lined up for you. Okay, let's continue working our chest, but before we begin, I want to quickly review some of the tips that Lisa went over that help us properly execute the exercises. Pull the navel down so that the navel is pressing towards the spine, your back's in contact with the floor. Go ahead and pick up those weights. I want you to bring the shoulders, I mean, bring the shoulders down and bring your arms in about the midline of your chest. We're going to put the shoulders down, pull the scapula together, and we're going to do just a bench press is where we push directly up. Are you ready? Here we go. Up and down. Good. Now I want you to focus on contracting before those arms move. Okay, let's get three more. Two and one. Now slowly let's go through a variation, okay? Ready, girls? Ready. What we're going to do is we're going to take that bench press. At the top, you rotate the palms inward. Then we're going to open all the way out to the side in that fly. Then you're going to squeeze the arms together in the fly, rotate the palms outward, bring it back down. You ready? Let's do it. Here we go. So it's one, open up, close, back to the beginning. Two. Now remember, you don't want to rotate till the very top so that we're keeping that bench press. Woo! Yes! Four more! How you doing, Lisa? I'm doing good. I'm feeling this really working in my shoulders. Well, that's well, because you are working it in your shoulders, Lisa. We use the shoulders to assist in this movement. Okay, last time. Okay, new movement. I want you to pull the elbows together and pulse it. Bring it above the midline and back to center. Squeeze it. Good. Now, we're focusing on the upper portion of the chest. Women really need this. This gives you that lift. We need that lift. Now let's put it all together. Bench press with the rotation out. Now little squeezes. Squeeze it in, in, in. That's one. Whew. You're keeping those abdominals in. That's two. How you doing, Nancy? Oh, I'm feeling it. This is great. Ha. Ah. Squeeze it right here. Good. Last time. Here we go. Good. And squeeze it. Pulse, 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 and down. Ooh, why don't you go tough. ahead and put those weights down? Oh, those were sure. Great. Why good not? Good job. Okay, let's continue <laughs> working the abdominals. Again, we want to initiate our movement, but this time with the abdominal area. Bring your fingertips on the front of your forehead, but I want you to still keep that. Would you put a softball between your chin and your chest? That's what it was. Okay. Here we go. Let's go eight singles. Contract eight, seven, up and down, six, five, continue to breathe, four, three, two, I'm not going to give you much break, you guys. Now uh. over at the elbows, chest press, 
Keep lifting. More chest work with the abdominal work? You bet. <laughs> All right, good. Four more. Whew. Two. Last one. Now, I want you to take it to the back, now to the front. So now we're working the obliques. And those are the muscles, like Lisa mentioned, that form our waist. Good. Okay, let's get last two. Now slowly let's go through a combination. Chest press center. Now cross to the back. Lift up to the center. And lower down. Now we do that again slowly. Chest. Rotate to the front. Center. Now a little faster. Here we go. It's up. Cross back center. Make sure you lift on that third count. Two right here. Three. Oh, can That's you do one more? The killer. Here we Easy go. Tough. Great. Woo. Now, just back to single count center. Now, if you think that we're, if you've noticed that we're doing a lot of variation, that's because we are, because our muscles respond best to surprise and to change. So although we're not doing a lot of the same exercise and doing a lot of repetition, the overall effect is great abs. You got it. Okay, now I want you to lift slowly for four. Lift one, two, three. Now hold it, ladies. Okay. Reach your arms forward. Slowly back down. Let's do that again. Lift up, two, three. Now hold it. There you go. Everyone uh, makes that mistake right there. Yeah. And down. Contract. So I'm making you hold the contraction. Reach and down. Oh. That's just another way of working the abdominals. Right? Oh, That's another right. Another way of surprising the muscle. And reach and down. Like I said, muscles respond best when you change everything up a little That's bit. That's right. Our muscles are a lot smarter than you think. Here we go. It's up, two, three, hold it, reach it, and down. A couple more. Now, Nancy and I are going to make this a little bit harder. I didn't tell you about this. Oh, yeah? Arms behind the head. Oh, no. And down. Here All we right. go. It's up, two, three. Now, hold Ooh. it. Arms behind the head. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lisa, you going to join us? I've got yeah. it. It's up. Woo. Hold. Arms behind the head. She's showing us up. And down. <laughs> it's lift. You should feel this. I am arms feeling out. it. Now let's just go back to single crunches. Here we go. Oh boy. Eight, seven, six, five. Uh oh. Woo. Four more. Three, two. Okay, let's go back to the combination we just did. Lift. One, two, three. Hold. Arms behind. Oh gosh. Now four singles. We go four. Three, two, and one. One more time, slowly. Lift, one, two, three, hold. Now take your arms directly behind your head. And down, singles. Oh no. Four, this is it. I promise, three, last two, and one, relax. Oh, oh. we made it. Gosh, Tracy, those were <laughs> How intense. About How'd you do, did you get through it? Let's just take the arms above the head. Ooh. Breathing, breathing. Good. Nancy? Okay, let's gracefully sit up. <laughs> ah. You know, we just used weights as resistance. Now we're going to use our own body weight as resistance by doing push ups. That's Sorry, guys. Uh huh. Oh let's okay. go on all fours. We'll start in this position. You can start with having your knees either directly underneath your hip, as Lisa and about hips width apart, or you can have them just slightly behind hip, the hip joint, like Tracy and I. Place your arms just further than shoulder width apart and just slightly in front of shoulder joint and your fingertips are facing forward. You're going to squeeze your abdominals in to protect your lower back and to keep from your midsection from sagging. Keep your head in alignment with your spine at all times. Now we're gonna lower down 
and we're gonna lift up from, and make sure that the elbows do not lock. Let's try that again. You're gonna go, you're gonna lower down and go as far as you can go and lift yourself back up and feel that contraction in your chest. Let's try that again. You're gonna inhale on the way down. Believe it or not, this is called relaxation. And now on exertion, <laughs> you exhale. Let's go to singles, okay? Singles and lift. Singles and lift. Now we got one more. Now go down for two. And up. Let's try that again. Singles. Take it down. And lift. Two. And lift. Three. Don't forget to breathe and keep the abs in tight. Let's go down for a double count. Let's go Ooh. one and two and up for two again. Take it down for two and up. One more set. You can do it. Take it down. And lift. Great. Down. And lift. Two more. Now, if you feel fatigued and you cannot finish, let's go slow. Then you can just stop the exercise. No problem. And you can build up. It's a challenge for you to finish. Take it up and hold it right here. We're going to stretch oh. it out. Boy, that's challenging. Ooh. You know, those exercises are very effective for working the total upper body. We were not only working our chest, we are working our back, our shoulders, as well as our arms. That's right. Let's roll up and stretch oh. out. Clasp your hands behind your back. Keep your abs in tight and just press away from your body. Oh, that feels great. I mean, I use push-ups in my exercise program all the time, and it really has helped me tone my arms, and I just love wearing tank tops. <laughs> All right, let's go back again. We're going to do something different. We're going to change the rhythm. We're going to go down for three and up for one. Here we go. Let's go. One, two, three, up one. Now try not to lock the elbow when you come up. Okay, there's a tendency to use momentum to try and push yourselves out. Okay, we got two more. And last one. And that's it. Great. Let's stretch it out. Woo. Oh, those were tough. Ooh. Down three, up three. Okay, remember, we want to encourage everyone to always work at their own level. you got to pace yourself and build up to the point where you can do all of this, because this is really challenging. Right, Nancy? That's yeah. absolutely <laughs> right. Let's roll up one more quick stretch. Hands clasped behind. Abs in tight. Chest lifted, and just press your arms away. Good stretch. Yeah, this opens up the chest. Ooh. All right. Release. Let's gracefully go back down to the floor. Yes, more abdominals. But this time we're going to be concentrating on the lower portion of our abdominals. So, gracefully roll down. And tuck your knees into your chest. And now drop your heels towards your buttocks. You're going to keep your head down on the floor. And your arms are going to be placed relaxed on the floor. You're going to lift your hips up by contracting your abdominal muscles keeping your heels at your buttocks. And now slowly roll down. Now if you need a little help, let's just practice this. Place your hands underneath your knees, pull in using your arms, squeeze your abdominals, let go, keep your hips up, feel the contraction, and roll down. Okay, you got that? Now let's try it at tempo. You're gonna lift up and down. Lift up and down. You're exhaling on exertion. Great. Let's do four more. Four, three, two. Now hold it down. Place your hands behind your ears. We're going to do the upper abs. Lift and down. Again, you're exhaling and you're pressing the navel down towards your spine so that your lower back makes contact with the floor. Good. Exhale and inhale. Keep the chin lifted, just like as if you had a softball in your, in your throat. <laughs> Take it up. Great. Two more. Okay. Lower all the way down. Lower body up for four. And three. Can we go ahead and put our hands back down Two. Here? Yes. Yes, you can. Last one. Upper body right away for four. And three. I'm smiling. Two. <laughs> this is not so bad for me. Ready? Lower body for two. Here we go. Up and down. Keep your heels down. Now upper body. Lift. Great. Try it again. Now you notice that the curl really isn't very high. Upper body for two. That's because the heels are still down by the buttocks. Now single counts. Exhale. Woo. Upper body. Lower body. I upper really body. Feel these. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Take it. Four. Two more. Excuse me. One more. Now let's do both together. Lower and upper together. Lift and down. Oh yeah. Lift and down. Lift and down. We've got 
four more. This is payback, Three. Nancy, huh? <laughs> yeah, I would say so. But the results are going to be wonderful. Last one. And stop. Good. Take the knees into your chest. Gently. Stretch out that lower back. You guys did a wonderful job. Thanks, Nancy. You finished the chair. I'm talking to them. You did a great job. <laughs> but you did a great job, too. Oh, good. Thanks, Thanks for you. all the support. <laughs> And take the knees across the back. Place one shoulder on the floor. Stretch out the back. Great. Pull them back in, keeping the lower back in contact with the floor. Take it toward me. Both shoulders stay on the floor. Just relax. You better smile now. You finished. All right. We made it. Take it back. Make sure the back, lower back stays in contact with the floor and hold it right there. Place your feet on the floor. Reach way up and inhale. And exhale. You did a great job and you deserve the cool down, right Lisa? Yeah. I am definitely ready for a cool down. Let's extend one leg at a time. Point those toes and let's reach the arms up above the head. Take a deep breath, inhale. Contract every single muscle in the body. Stretch it and exhale, relax. Once more, deep breath, inhale, extend, reach through those fingertips, and exhale, relax. Now just relax your feet, and let's pick up that front leg, hold on behind your thigh, flex the foot in a comfortable position, take a deep breath, inhale, and pull the knee in towards your chest. Now as you exhale, let's push that heel up towards the ceiling. Keep your knee slightly bent. Let's pull that leg back just a little bit, just so you feel a stretch. Don't bounce it, just hold it. Feel the stretch in the hamstring and gluteal area. And let's turn that ankle around. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. And release it. Let's switch legs slowly. Take it down, back leg comes up. Pull it in towards the chest, hold on behind the thigh. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, push your heel up towards the ceiling. And pull back and gently hold this stretch. Take this time to relax. You have worked very hard today. Turn that ankle around and release it. Bring that knee in towards your chest. The other leg comes up and meets it. Hold on behind your thighs. Now pull the knees in towards your chest, lifting your tailbone up off of the floor, feeling a good stretch through your lower back. And release it. Let the tailbone drop. And let's bring that in towards the chest one more time. Lift the tailbone up. And exhale, release it. From here, let's roll towards the center. Come on up. Bring your feet around. Sit up nice and tall. And let's hold on behind the thighs once again. Lift your elbows up just a bit. And now we're going to stretch down into every single vertebrae. Tuck your chin. And take a deep breath, inhale. Let's lift it up. Take it down again. As you exhale, pull those shoulder blades apart. Give yourself a big stretch. And up. And now let's take fingertips around, place them behind you, and push up in towards the chest and feel a stretch. And take it down, relax. Let's do this once more. Take a deep breath, inhale. As you exhale, push up through the chest. Feel that stretch. And release it. Let's sit Indian style and take a few deep breaths up. Sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath, inhale, reach up, and exhale, release it. Cool down is a very good time to think about your goals. And exhale, release it. Once more, inhale up, and exhale, release it. You have made it through the entire Abs and Chest of Steel 2000 workout. You should feel great about yourself. And remember, you don't have to complete the workout. You can break it up one day doing the warm-up and then go right to the toning section, or the other day do the warm-up and the aerobic portion. But remember, always start off with a warm-up and end it with a cool-down. And if you can combine good nutrition with regular exercise, you're going to see results in no time. Yeah, and remember, each time you complete the workout, that brings you one step closer to having those abs and chest of steel.